Welcome back. So we did have mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies with smoke in the atmosphere to start, start off today. And as we made our way through the day, uh, we did get hot with those highs well into the 90s with some showers and thunderstorms cooling us off later. Here's a look at the high temperatures at 96 officially at Scotts Bluff, 89 at Alliance, but mid 90s out towards Shadron, Sydney, mid 80s at the Gordon area. And as we go into the evening, we have since cooled off most of us within a few degrees of 70, including Alliance, Hemingford, Shadron, Scotts Bluff, Bridgeport, Sydney, and Torrington, some upper 60s at Kimball and Alliance, still 75 out toward Oshkosh. There's your wind flipping around from a southeasterly direction to more of a northerly flow as you make your way off to the west of Scotts Bluff and Torrington, but wind speeds right now are still around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So as for the moisture, we had one more severe thunderstorm, especially hitting the same areas in Dual County. That's off to the south and to the uh, east right now, and we are starting to see the mostly cloudy skies on this map turn partly cloudy, and we are drying out pretty nicely. So across the uh, region, we got that low that's over us as of right now. That moves off to the east. This cold front sets up over us. A little bit of a cool sector over the next couple of days, but more high pressure is going to work its way in as we uh, go through the next few days, especially into the weekend. Until then, we really had the uh, warm air. Uh, that heat dome just off to our south kind of did get into the panhandle with those temperatures well into the 90s. So temperatures are going to stay mild into the mid to upper 80s. Good amount of cloud cover during the overnight. Uh, starting off tomorrow into the low to mid 60s, that would be. And then as we go through your afternoon, high temperatures outside the valley, lower 80s, maybe some upper 80s with some isolated storm chances, especially into the southern panhandle handle on your Wednesday and then for the day on Thursday starting off into the lower 60s Thursday we do have a, a better chance of some soaking rains especially for midday don't think there's going to be a big severe weather chance on Thursday but we could pick up more moisture uh, high temperatures for Thursday should only reach the upper 60s to near 70 degrees because we're going to have all the clouds and the rain cooling us off through the day. So another low is going to be over us, followed by that cold front, but cooler air filters in. Well, that Thursday high only near 70, but as this high pressure works its way off to the east and we get rid of that rain, we're really going to start to warm up with that very strong southerly wind and lots of sunshine as we go through the weekend and beyond. So that cool pool of air is going to be over us as we finish out the work week, but after that, we're going to have this really big ridge and we are going to continue that extreme heat, uh, but... It's not only going to be off to our south for next week, we're definitely going to be in it. That warm air making its way into central Canada with a really big warm-up with temperatures well into the 90s and could even top 100 degrees as we go through next week. Also of note, that jet streams to our north. So we're going to get out of that active weather pattern and those severe weather chances because that's going to be into the... Uh, the northern plains of the U.S. and of the southern prairies of Canada. It's going to go that far north. So this kind of weather pattern will dry us out pretty nicely. So to round out the work week, we're going to have that cooler exit. Still pretty nice from here up off to the north as the heat dome stays to our south. The smoke also moves off to the east and uh, that rain will move into the eastern portion of the viewing area, or the USA, that would be. Now, as we make our way through the day tomorrow, still into the upper 80s, we'll keep that 20% chance of some showers and storms, and then rain and thunder, much cooler, lots of cloud cover, a high of 70 for your Thursday, and 84 on Friday. But that's the last day. Temperatures are going to be below average. Those were up to 91 on Saturday, 95 on Sunday with sunny skies, 98 on Monday, and near 100 for Tuesday with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Angel? Thanks, Justin. About a third of Americans are under excessive heat advisories with historic temperatures and poor air quality spreading across the country.